Do you ever watch television? Yeah. Do you ever watch Dateline? Dateline? Dateline NBC? Mm -hmm. Have you ever seen our stories on computer predators? Yeah, I've seen them. This is one of them. Oh, no. And he's clearly seen our investigations before. Are you a cop posing undercover to catch online predators? No, what are you talking about? Don't you watch Dateline? No, what's that? It's a show on NBC. They take guys to jail for messing around with young girls. And like some of the others, need a friend to talk to appears to know what he's walked into. Am I being taped? You are being taped. Oh, crap. Rudy raised the specter of this being Dateline NBC in his conversation. He later said that he had actually seen at least one of our investigations. But I don't think he got it, you know, the moment he walked into the house. You say this might be a trap. I've seen that on TV. Yeah. What did you see on TV exactly? Uh, that, well, in the news actually, because the people get like uh, arrested because of chatting like with underage girls. Right. So you saw it on Dateline NBC? Yeah, yeah, news. Just news. Yeah. I didn't, oh my God, I didn't think I was going to happen. I think he started to catch on towards the end of the conversation, but I don't think he truly realized who I was until I said, I'm Chris Hansen with Dateline NBC. We're doing a story on adults who try to meet underage kids on the internet. What, what made you decide to do this for the first time tonight? You know what? Wow, it crossed my mind about I seen this show and I'm like, I you see, you see, You've seen which show? This one. This show? Yeah. And what was your reaction when, you, when you've seen the show before? It was bad. It's just, it's just bad. That's bad. What, I say. what the people were doing was bad. Yeah. Well, you've seen the show before, so you know that, that this is about the time where I need to tell you who I am. I'm Chris Hansen, and I'm with Dateline NBC, yeah. and this is To Catch a Predator. Yeah. He's in no hurry. He knows what's waiting for him outside. Sheriff's office, come on down. Wow, you, you knew what was going to happen. This. You knew what, what's this. Have a seat on that stool there, if you would. In Ohio, uh, we saw really for the first time multiple guys say that they had seen one of our past three investigations. And it did surprise me because I'm thinking, well, if you saw the previous show, you know, what are you doing here? Ronnell, do you ever watch television? Mm -hmm. Do you ever watch Dateline NBC? Yeah, and I've seen this on TV. You've seen this on TV before? Pretty much knew this was going to happen. We had already done two investigations. Going into this third one, I wondered to myself, what if nobody shows up? I mean, people must know that, that Dateline is out there doing another investigation. Well, in fact, we had guys show up who had seen our previous shows and came in anyway. And Daniel Polito was one of them. Do you ever watch TV, Danny? Yes. Do you ever watch Dateline NBC? Yes. Have you ever seen our stories on computer predators? Yes. This is one of them. Well, Dwayne, do you watch much television? A little bit when I have time. You ever watch Dateline NBC? I guess I'm on it right now, right? So you kind of figured out what's going on. <laughs> I mean, you hear about it and you sit there and you're like, man, these poor guys, like, these guys are such idiots and what are these guys thinking? And, you know, and you're like, you know, you see some guys that's just like, wow, like, these guys are just really, really disturbed. Well, give me a sense of what went on in your mind to make you one of those guys tonight. So, when do I get to see myself on TV? Ultimately, Donald Morrison says, okay, I get what's going on here. I'm probably on To Catch a Predator right now. He recognizes me finally. When you said you thought the Dateline stories were pretty bad, did you think the stories were bad because of what Dateline did, or did you think what the guys caught on Dateline uh, did were bad? Or Some of the things that Dateline did. So yeah. wait, let me get just get this straight. So when you say you thought that the Dateline stories were pretty bad, are you talking about the stories or the guys who were caught in the stories? The guys who got caught in the stories, and I know this is probably going to be on Dateline too, so go ahead and put it on. Well, you know who I am. Yeah, I know who you are. Once I rec recognized, recognized it. 
you know, I heard recognize the voice. I don't really watch Dateline. I mean, I'm usually working two to two to eleven. We don't, I'm Chris Hansen with Dateline right. NBC. I understand. I know who I recognize from the voice. And everything you've just said and done has all been recorded. Okay. Khan tells me he brought condoms and knows what's going on. I've seen this program. Before. You've seen this program. Yeah. All right. Well, you know what you've walked into here. Yeah. 